Welcome. I'm Debs Norton and I'm a student studying the master's degree with Indie Game Dev for Falmouth University. My initial intention when I first started was to focus on learning how to animate so I could apply it to my character Ralphie from my children's books that I write and illustrate. By the end of the two years, I hope to have produced a prototype for an interactive storytelling app or game. This would actually allow young children to create their own personal stories with a narrative of their own choice, taking them into a world of imagination and adventure. I began the module by focusing on learning how to use sprites to bring assets and backgrounds into Unity. I started placing Ralphie's drawings I had of him into the game engine and simply getting him to move. I also experimented placing Ralphie and different backgrounds into Blender, a 3D computer graphics software tool. And with a little help from one of my peers, this was created. I was so pleased with the result, but this was only just the beginning for my journey into character animation. Since then, I have achieved a lot more. I've had a brief overview of the C Sharp script with coding using Visual Studio, a coding editor created a basic animatic using frame animation and converted it into video layers, both from Photoshop, and learned about the drawing tools in Storyboard Pro and created a character. I've also created a repository, placed game assets into it, and managed to check it worked okay, plus tested out Trello, a board to help with organisation and time management, and looked at applying different mythologies to my practice, such as waterfall method, scrum Agile Framework, and most recent, I have been practising Kanban. This task was a massive learning curve for me. Not only did I get to experiment with a new prototyping tool, Storyboard Pro, but I managed to create a new character for a game concept I had in mind. I had watched a beginner's tutorial, paid attention to the drawing controls so I could remediate the original artefact to create something new. I concentrated on designing the background, working out how to introduce Ickle in the game, created a story and started off developing my concept for Ickle's waking up process using frame animation, adding background theme tune from sound that was gentle enough, as you can hear, to wake up to. I wanted to add a humorous touch to the beginning of this game. Looking back on this process, I think I was too focused on how to make something impressive from a new tool, but I ended up using one I already knew about, based on Patricio's original concept, a sea creature fighting human contamination. Our starting point was using a fish animatic he never used. This rapidization had many iteration stages. We focused on backgrounds, textures and rubbish beneath the sea. I experimented with colour changes in Photoshop and discovered the quickest way to apply blends to the sea creature with a focus on making it look real. We worked with Trello board to help organise our project. We continued to analyse our progress of the gameplay concept, research more into numerous documents documentaries, we incorporated real life facts from our plastic ocean documentary, helping to make children aware of the pollution in the ocean and allowing them to make the incremental changes and learn about recycling, but without them being scared by the harsh facts that would pop in. This result is what specifically encouraged me to experiment with Ickle again from Rapid Ideation 1 using Animate CC in the Easter holiday. Looking back over the two game jams, I wish I had just stuck to using Adobe's Creative Cloud and not other computer animation softwares and had read more about the technique behind animating. I want to be an animator, so I've watched a lot of video material of behind the scenes footage like Pixar, for instance. Plus, I've looked at academic peer reviews such as the interactive animated ebook as a word learning device for kindergartners. It questions whether static books, animated ebooks, interactive animated ebooks can help kindergartners aged four to five to learn words and story comprehension when storybooks include motion pictures, sounds, background music, and interactive vocabulary actions digital storytelling with primary school children. The second case study looks at digital tool named Communix, how it can help primary school children create stories. Children's responses to the interactivity of storybook apps in family shared reading events involving the iPad. An ethnography report about screen-based interactivity and children's engagement with storybook apps, interactive features and the children's responses to them. They discover that interactive elements make the child feel important as the storyteller. All of my goals are underpinned from academic papers, case studies, articles and industry papers. So far I've engaged with the live drawing, anatomy sketches, cartooning, animated gifs and game art. I want to become proficient in Adobe Character Animator to learn about character rigging. I will measure this by crafting prototypes following Adobe's tutorials for two hours a day. It is achievable as I've already practiced it for this video. 
it's relevant to my interactive storybook app or game and it's vital for creating great animation. I want to learn more about interactive features in app games as this is part of keeping a child engaged. I will measure this by practicing with incorporating animated backgrounds to an animatic achievable as I know how for an hour a day and relevant to my final project. Finally, I want to develop my knowledge of Unity and focus on getting Ralphie and other new characters to move in the game engine up to four hours a week and will measure by short beginner's tutorials on LinkedIn Learning. It's achievable as I know some basics and relevant to my final project. Thank you for watching.